some of the custom features you see even before you, you enter. <laughs> That's awesome. And welcome to our home. First out, right out the gate, you know, I noticed the sliding doors that go into the rooms. Uh, obviously that saves room, but it kind of gives it that, that uh, very rustic feel. And this one, how many does this house again, This uh, the hub? This is a four-person tree house. Four-person, okay. Oh, wow, beautiful. Where, where were the ideas um, for, you know, the lighting and the chandeliers and stuff? Because, again, it's got that rustic feel. It looks like it was um, things that were repurposed. Or did you guys make it look like it was repurposed? Yeah, I mean, a variety of places. Some are custom-made, though. Many of the features are custom-made by members of our crew. We have metal workers and just some really creative artists, really, who are among that group. Uh, ideas can fall over. Um, Pinterest from, you know, other tree houses, from personal experience. Just all kinds of ideas were thrown out and, and pursued. If we couldn't find it, we made it. I love that door handle. It's a horseshoe. And, you know, e even these hand handles and drawer pulls, many of them, these are leather. But the metal ones were actually made by a volunteer blacksmith in the uh, Isaac Ledwig Mill at Providence Metro Park. So, so much was brought from, you know, local workers, it sounds like. Yeah, volunteers, members of our staff, local contractors in some cases. So where are we at now, Scott? So now we're headed into the kitchen and some more of those little details I was talking about. Um, the sink made out of a tree, what else? Wonderful uh, appliances, uh, doing a unique flavor. You know, you could have put up, just put up tree houses. That would have been cool enough, right? But I think when people see the interiors and all the detail work that went into them, It'll exceed their expectations, and that's what we're hearing from folks uh, who, who've been, uh, been able to come out and see them. Obviously, people really want to go out there. It's popular. Where can people go if they want to sign up and uh, stay a night at the Treehouse Village? Sure, a couple things you can do. So, at MetroParkSolito.com. Uh, right on the home page right now is, uh, you can't miss it really. Uh, click on the Canale Treehouse Village. You can make, uh, it'll tell you how to make reservations, uh, where to call for availability. Um, we're also going to be offering tours coming up. So watch for those. You don't even have to stay. You can sign up for free tours uh, using our reservation system. All right. I'm looking for, I got to sign up. I got to get down there. Do I get, because I did this, any access or no? Am I, do I have to wait like uh, everyone else? Just tell them, I'm, we have a bad connection. Uh -huh. <laughs>